Uh, okay. Show me now the difference between jiu-jitsu, which is long and bow, and gung fu, which is very quick if you have an opponent. All right, for instance, you will read it in a book, in a magazine and everything, that when somebody grab you, you will first do this, and then this, and then, and then, and then, and then, thousands of steps before you do a single thing. Of course, these kind of magazine would uh, teach you to be feared by your enemies and admired by your friends and everything. See? But uh, in Kung Fu, it always involves a very fast motion. Like, for instance, a guy grabbing your hand. It's not the idea to do so many steps. Step him right on the instep. He'll let go. This is what we mean by simplicity. Same thing in striking and in everything. It has to be based on a very minimum motion so that everything would be directly expressed <laughs> one motion and he's gone. Doing it gracefully, not to go ah yelling and jumping all over him, but to do it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> there are various kinds of strike. It depends on where you hit and what weapon you will be using. To the eyes, you would use fingers. Don't worry. <laughs> I will be. To the eyes. Or straight at the face, from the waist, everything on. There is fan arm strike, using the waist again into a back fist. Kung Fu is very sneaky, you know the, Chi the Chinese, they always hit low. From high, go back to the ground. Right? There is the finger jab, there is the punch, there is the back fist, and then low. Of course, then they use leg, straight at the ground, all come up. Or, if I can back up a little bit, they start back from here, and then come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's kind of worried. <laughs>